Hello everyone. Just wanted to do a video on how to start to set up your trading view charts and set up all the Ripster EMA clouds and all the Ripster suite of indicators that we use in the community that I that I use every day. There's a separate video and a separate information for Think or Swims that you can go and see in the notes tab or you can go in the files and get those scripts. So, so this trading view is a blank slate, brand new trading view, and just I'm gonna walk you through how to set up everything. So this is a daily chart. So let's start, um, you know, let's start, see what do we need first here. So let's go here. Um, first thing we need to do is we need to make sure we have all of our data enabled. Okay, let's just do the indicators first. So you, what you go is you go here, you search Ripster. So when you search Ripster, you will have a bunch of indicators come up. Make sure you add them into your favorite Ripster EMA clouds, Ripster trend labels, Ripster's MTF cloud, and Ripster candle volume. Those you add in your favorites, and then there's, um, I also have uh, volume indicators. Let's see if I can uh, find them, DTR, uh, yeah. So DTR and ADR, add that into your favorites as well. I think I do have R wall label, yeah. So you search R wall, and then you add that to your favorite set as well. That's called R wall label. label. <clears throat> There's some secondary, uh, I never really use them, um, but if you wanna use um, volume profile, VRVP is a pretty nice indicator. You can add it into your uh, favorites. You can also use DMI if you want as those in favorites. Anyways, so now that we have added all the Ripster labels, Ripster, indicators so what we're going to do is we're going to add them to your charts so now you see everything is in your favorites you just had to search ripster uh, dtr atr double click should be added there ripster candle volume should be added there ripster ema clouds um, should be added ripster mtf clouds those should be added ripster um, trend labels we, we're going to clean them up you, wait a minute here so relative volume labels we have everything all the register suite of labels we have added them now since we are on a daily chart we don't really need the mtf clouds on daily chart so we can deselect that now we want to make sure let's just talk about the daily chart if you want a daily chart you can uh, click this candle volume and you this is the ripster candle volume you can move it to the bottom right if you want to we're going to do some a lot of playing around here and then you double click the atr dtr you can probably move it to the bottom center if you want so now we have all those labels um, you know on their respective positions um, of course you can move this anywhere else if you want to right so this is your daily chart this is fine um, on my daily chart usually I want to see also I want to see you double click the Rift 3 MA clouds I also sometimes want to see the 2021 EMAs so what I'll do is I'll put do so this is 2021 EMA yeah, so let's see. Uh, yeah, so I want to see that as well. So anyways, um, so you can save this as your, uh, save, it, save it as your rename it, save it as your um, daily chart. Um, so you can save that. Now comes our, the, the charts that we're using uh, for day trading. So you can make a copy here, just make a copy, go here, right click, make a copy. So we're going to call this as a DT charts, right? So this is what you see me every day sharing. So these are our DT charts. So let's, what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna make sure we have the right settings. So let's go here on the settings and um, you're gonna make sure that you're, you are using after hours data. Let's see here. So let's see where it is, if I can show you. Uh, okay, let's see, let's see. So to set up after hours data, first we have to go to 10 minutes. So you right click it, you need 10 minutes, you make sure you have 10 minutes uh, if you don't have that plan. Once you are in the 10 minutes, you go to the settings here, you click the settings and you go to the, so you go to the symbol tab and you click the session as extended hours. So that gives you the extended hours. Now you can play around with it um, how you want, you know, it's your personal preference, how you want it to look. You know, I, play, I always play around with how I want to look my after hours or pre-markets. 
and you can change the colors however you wish that's a personal preference um, but this is must now you have the extended hours on and you can change the time zone however you want you can change it should ideally it should be the uh, the time frame should be uh, uh, New York New York uh, Eastern time here so you have New York Eastern time so that's that's good anything else you can play around I don't um, usually on the canvas I don't like the grid lines um, I don't really use them it's up to you how you want to play around you can really change whatever you want to do you can make it a background black if you want to um, you know I don't like that I want my background to be white so that's what I use you're free to use what you want to use there's a lot you can play around here alerts that you set um, you know uh, so yeah so just play around with that but anyways so now we move to our 10 minute chart so you saw that I added the pre-market data now we want to do is it um, we can lay it out for uh, in a three uh, three 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 time intervals that we want to see so that we can do a multi time frame analysis here right so this one it's and once you do that you click these three and now you want to make sure the symbol is same that's what you want to know so the symbol would be always be the same in all these three so that's what you want so once you once you have that um, so now we're going to click here move this as a one hour time frame right here so this is our one hour time frame now and we're going to click here move this as our daily time frame right so i can do all my analysis now let's clean this this up a bit right so there's too much going on here so um you can clean it just uh, however you want so basically if i only want to see this uh, my candle volume is fine i don't want to see on a one hour charts so i don't really need the labels um, so i'm going to take off the labels on the one hour chart i would definitely like to see my volume so i'm going to move my volume to the right side right here so so now it's clean i can see my volume right up the top you can also clean a lot of stuff here it's too much going around here so you can on the status line you can move remove all this uh, stuff right and you can apply it to all so that you don't see that it's up to you right or you can put them back up on uh, like you want to see the volume there right so we will just do that apply to all so this cleans up it a bit but we definitely need a label on 10 minute chart um i definitely want to see uh the candle volume uh, adr you can um you can stop this volume here you uh, you can deselect this is the r wall label remember so this is the r wall so you can deselect that and uh, so we have our ripster label stands tells us bullish bearish on the 10 minute chart we have the candle volumes on all of our charts um you can even you know move it any other spot if you want it's all up to you you can play around with it but these are very important so we have we can see our dtr atr here i can probably move uh, dtr atr top here and i can take this off here and just uh, remove it from here right so however you want to play right so i have my dtr i can atr right here i have my relative volume right here this is my chart okay so um so let's now configure the mtf clouds to so configure the mtf clouds let's just delete it start again and go there ripster we already made it a favorite remember so you double click it not once twice you double click it so there are two ripster mtf clouds now what you want to do is the first ripster mtf clouds is um i want i want it as one hour so you know because if i don't want to see at one hour i'll show you in a minute there so i'm gonna do it as one hour and then i want to see uh i only want to really want to see 30 for 50 i don't really want to see anything else there so i do that i don't want to see these ema lines i'm interested in the clouds so you deselect it so watch carefully what i did i want to style I'm deselecting the lines. I'm even deselecting the second EMA cloud because I'm only interested in 3450, right? So there goes uh, your 3250. Right there, you can see that uh, your 3450 chart is right there. And you can see that it coincides with the one hour 3450 right here. This is what we are looking for, right? On our 10 minute chart. So this, this setting, this is the setting and you can play around however you want. 
you can make it purple or you can make it whatever color you want so that you know that that is your one hour 3450 mtf clouds watch the mtf cloud webinar i do explain it there uh, in a detail so now let's, let's go to our daily uh, daily mtf cloud so once we are doing our daily mtf clouds here um the second one the settings um what we want to do is we're going to do 20 21 so one of the setting is um is 20 the second setting is 21 and then we have 50 we have 55 that gives us our daily daily mdf cloud i usually like to see my 50s i don't want to see eml lines you don't need those deselected um i usually like to see my 50 55 as a blue um, you know so i usually turn it as blue and i usually like to see my 20 ema some light color i would just do that i'm just gonna do this light color that whatever it is right or green maybe you can do the green whatever you want and i can do um, dark blue 150 55 so now we are set right so now we are set with our mtf cloud so all your indicators are all you need everything is right here um your candle volume you can play around with it move it um 